Um, the penultimate story of the evening is Wayland Smith, Warrior of the Milky Way. <coughs> I'm Mark Graham. Spin since winning the Spear of Luck at the Lama's Game with his legendary tale of canine heroism, Ben Gellet, the dragon slaying hound of Krimik. Mark has been dining out on that story and felt it was time to write another one. So taking time out from his great unfinished novel, he sat down and wrote Wayland Smith, Warrior of the Milky Way, which is going to read for you now. I noticed everyone kept their stories very neat. Mine's been in my back pocket. Wayland Smith, warrior of the Milky Way. The milk float trundled out of the yard and into the sweet light puddled night. The boy Rob, hood up, stared vacantly into the darkness, dreaming of Abigail's red hair tossed across a white Primark pillar. <laughs> Fox-faced Wayland Smith, eyes lusting after adventure accelerates to a reckless 13 miles an hour. <laughs> Earth my body, water my blood, air my breath and fire my spirit. The silent wings of a road-killed pheasant swing from the rearview mirror. Tomorrow's the big day, boy. Your initiation. Then you can call yourself a man, a warrior of the Milky Way. Hmm. Remember all I've taught you. Give honour to the goddess and you'll be fine. Whatever. The milk float came to a halt outside Walker's the Baker's, where, behind the blinds and darkened door, a fluorescent sun had already risen. To the dawn chorus of Heart FM, the white-robed priests of Demeter were performing the sacred rite of bread baking. Wayland's thin arms as strong and knotty as the heart of a bunk, hauled a crate of double cream from amongst the milk bottles. He jogged the cream to the bakery door, blue overalls flapping against skinny legs. The boy Rob, dragging along behind, carried a crate of semi-skinned. Wayland knocked. The door opened. A vision in white overalls and hairnet shimmered before him. Gloria, the baker's wife. Miss Iced Buns, 1988. <laughs> Statuesque and alluring. Cream horn, she purred. Wayland swallowed hard. Vanilla slice, he replied. Oh, Wayland, you are a one. The bag passed between them discreetly. Back on the road, the familiar routine began. Milk bottles lifted from crates. Paths beaten to dark doors. Empties collected. Birth, death, divorce, all of human experience reduced to a message in an empty bottle. An extra pint, please. No milk today. Just one semi skin, please. Orders amended and milk delivered, they moved silently on. As the boy Rob set down a pint of sterilised milk, makes the best milk, makes the best rice puddings, on the step of 38, the letterbox flew open and a hand proffered a mini Mars bar, which he took with grunted thanks. Walking, head down, back to the milk float, the boy Rob stopped and cringed. As the sun breached the horizon, Wayland, with due reverence, lifted a pint of full cream Guernsey milk from his crate. The world stood still. He turned towards the eastern horizon. The first rays of the rising sun broke from behind the old mill, and Wayland, face lit with golden light, lifted the milk bottle high above his head in salute. I am a warrior, I am a druid, I am a milkman, my soul will never die, he proclaimed in a voice that rose from the earth and filled the sky. Puncturing the golden foil, Wayland threw back his head, 
and with reckless disregard for the cholesterol content, he drank until milk ran down his chin and the bottle was drained. Why do you have to do that? Because if I didn't, the sun wouldn't rise. It would. How do you know? <laughs> Much later, as they trundled back to the yard, empty bottles clinking, Wayland was in a reflective mood. We are a dying tribe, he announced. The usual gleam in his eyes dimmed. Twenty years ago, thirty floats rode out of this yard. <coughs> we roamed the streets through rain, wind and snow. We were always there, servants of the goddess. Kids' cereals, mum's cuppa, dad's flask. We bought the sacred milk of the mother to their doors. Now we are no more than a dozen, and the floats are half empty. I can remember floats with crates piled to the roofs. To the roofs. Now they barely cover the decks. They are <coughs> old men, stooped like ancient hawthorn trees. We are a dying tribe. They join the clue, queue of milk floats, rolling into the yard to be tethered to their power cables and fed electricity. That night, beneath his forest green FC duvet cover, the boy Rob carefully traced the route of the milk round in his head. Two semi skins at 18, then on to Summer Street. He pictured each delivery, front doorstep, back door, barking dog, possible glimpse of the beautiful Miss Emery in her 1943. The alarm bleeped, 4.30. Close on, coffee, pushed by. The boy Rob freewheeled through the gate and into the uncharacteristically dark and silent yard, eerie with the absence of hustle and bustle. He leant the bike against the wall and with hands in pockets he sauntered towards the office. The light of twelve milk floats, drawn into a circle, split open the darkness. Standing centre stage was a figure in white, back turned. Twelve milkmen stepped from their floats and stood as erect as their age would allow. Enter the temple and approach the goddess, a voice commanded. Really? He stepped into the circle of light. The figure turned. Gloria, draped in a white bedsheet, a bottle of gold top pressed to each breast. I am the goddess, she proclaimed. Then the clouds parted and the naked full moon revealed herself in all her splendour. The yard was bathed in silver light and the world was enchanted and magical. Gloria's voice was transformed. It became richer and more powerful. Gloria's lips continued to move, but her voice came from nowhere and from everywhere. I am the goddess, maiden, mother, crone. I am the moon, full and new. The hind, the hare, the crow, the shrew. I am willow, oak and gorse. I cause fate to run its course. In the half-light, the twelve ancient milkmen grew taller, the shadows tattooing swirls and spirals onto their faces. They were muscular warriors, ready for the fray, strong as oak trees, fearless as stags. Hail to the goddess, hail to the dark and the light, hail to the Milky Way, they boomed. Step forward, commanded Gloria. The boy Rob shuffled forward, cheeks glowing red. Take the milk of the breast of the goddess, freely given as a gift to life and the living. She thrust the two bottles towards him. The boy Rob took them, assiduously avoiding eye contact. Do you swear to serve me, the sacred mother, and to carry my blessed milk safely to all who have need of it? If you like. <laughs> Do you swear to spread this path with pride? to bring honour to this hallowed task? I suppose so. <laughs> then you shall be called a warrior of the Milky Way, 
and your name will be remembered in the sacred stories of this tribe. Hail to our brother, warrior of the Milky Way, boom the twelve milkmen, beating the sides of their milk floats in unison. Brother warrior, brother warrior, they roared. Gloria leant forward and gently kissed Rob on his cheek, her breasts brushing lightly against him. She looked deeply into his eyes for a moment, then turned her back and walked slowly away, disappearing into the shadows as the moon was once again swallowed by cloud. The mighty warriors shrunk, old and stooped again, formed a line. The boy Rob walked along the line, tucking a pint of gold top under his arm so he could shake the proffered hands. Milkman slapped him on the back, congratulated him, smiled warmly, tears in their eyes. At the end of the line stood Wayland. The people are waiting for you, Rob. Take the bounty of the goddess to them. Rob climbed into the float, and to the cheers of the assembled milkmen, drove through the gate and into the dark. At Walker's the baker's, Gloria winked and handed him a cream horn. With a new spring in his step, Rob roamed the dark streets, a pint of semi-skimmed at 18, two full pints of full cream milk at 27, a pint of sterilised for Mrs Jones, and that's the best last puddings. Ms Emery in her 90, 43, result. The light grew, and as the sun began to rise, Rob stopped, shaking his head and smiling to himself. Rob lifted a bottle of full cream jersey milk from his crate, held it up to the sun and roared, I am a warrior, I am a druid, I am a milkman, my soul will never die. And puncturing the gold foil, he threw back his head and drank milk until it ran down his chin and the bottle was drained. Thank <laughs> you.